Thank you, Soders. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to Club Champion Dinner 2017. Well, we all know what happened six days ago. Make no mistake, we all collectively own that result. And more importantly, we'll do something about that result. And uh, between the coach and I, we will reference that game and, and obviously talk about it tonight. That's the context. That said, I've decided, and in my opinion, I'm 100% correct, that we should not allow the season just gone to be defined by last Saturday's grand final loss. So, so to that end, I want to take the opportunity tonight to reflect on the whole year and importantly celebrate the commitment the dedication and the resilience of our entire football club, especially our players. Now, before I go on, there's some very special guests in the room and I want to call them out. Firstly, to Jing Tadeo from Toyota. Um, special welcome to you, Jing, your very first club champion event, standing up there and a wave. Well done, Jing. Those that hear me regularly speak know I call out Toyota. They're our major partner. They have been from day one. They're the most best partner in the AFL, and they're also the AFL's partner. Uh, we love them to death. The dealers in the room and to your guests, a special welcome to you all. Uh, representing the Premier Jay Weatherall, we've got Russell Wortley, MLC, sitting down there at the same table as Jing. Welcome to you, Russell. Representing the Leader of the Opposition, Stephen Marshall, we have one of our great supporters in Terry Stevens. I just bumped him into him on the way uh, in tonight, dislocated his elbow. I told him alcohol can assist with that tonight. Also, John Olson, President of the SANFL and also of the Adelaide Oval Stadium Management Authority, key stakeholders in our club, welcome to you and to Julie tonight. I'd also like to welcome and publicly thank my fellow directors. They continue to provide exceptional and unwavering service to your football club. And I don't often call them out by name. I'm going to tonight, given the year that we've had. And we split our board up into committees. And we got a bloke called Mark Ricciuto, who chairs our football department. He doesn't actually do it. That's the domain of Don. That's the domain of Brett Burton, Fags, and the entire team there. But Rue adds a lot of wealth uh, through his experience and history in football, and uh, we're a better football club having him sharing that. We've got JAMO, a very, very important committee, the past players and officials. And I think that's an area of our football club, JAMO, that we're getting better at. And thank you for the work that you do there. Linda Fellows, uh, and our integrity, professional standards, it's like a shield. You're protecting us in all things uh, integrity, and uh, you add enormous value to our board. Thank you. Uh, to Bob Ford, who chairs the marketing and the commercial side of the committee that Dan and Nigel run. Uh, thank you for the effort that you go there, and we'll talk more about the results there. To Kate, to Jim, to Richmond, you're the newbies on the board, but it's fantastic. This is a good board, ladies and gentlemen, and I was pleased that Richard Goiter and Gil McLaughlin actually confirmed that to us, Fags, uh, when we presented to them, and uh, that made me feel better. Now, these guys don't need the recognition. Um, they do this for the right reasons. They take their supporter hat off when they walk into the boardroom, and they make decisions without fear or favour, and they do it for the long-term health and viability of our club. And, ladies and gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind, give your board of directors a, uh, a round of applause. I'd like to take this opportunity also to recognise our inaugural chairman, Bob Hammond. Now, Bob's not here tonight. I spoke with Bob three times leading into grand final week, seeking his counsel on a few things. But Bob received on Saturday, and it was a privilege to be in the headroom uh, at the MCG, where he was awarded the AFL's John Kennedy Lifetime Achievement Award. It is one of football's most distinguished awards. It is so coveted, it only gets handed out when there is somebody that stands out from the crowd. It is not awarded every year. It's like the reserve grapes, uh, J-Pod, when you, some years you don't have those reserve grapes that go into your premium wine. This is like this award, and Bob Hammond received that 
on Saturday at the MCG and it was a privilege being in the room because of his contribution to football and I'd like in his absence to acknowledge our inaugural chairman, Bob Hammond. We're also lucky to have uh, in the room tonight, we have past club champions, uh, past players, life members, and uh, it's a privilege to have you guys here. I know you'll enjoy the night. And finally, I want to extend a very special welcome to all of the current players, partners, coaches, partners, management and staff and their partners. Anyone that has ever been associated with our football club is indeed most welcome at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, as chairman, my pride and trust for this football team has not diminished on the back of one performance. The pride, I think, is obvious to everybody. I'm always proud of our football club and will defend it to the hilt towards any protagonism. The trust, the trust comes from knowing the people that run the football club. And I have the privilege of working with them and seeing them and witnessing what they do and the conversations that they conduct and how they go about their business. And none more so in recent days, the week that's been. And I listen to Don and I listen to Andrew and I listen to the coaching group and the broader management team. And I know the analysis that has gone into the weekend I know some of the actions that will come from it and I trust the club is in good hands and I'll speak more to that in a moment. So ladies and gentlemen, let me just indulge a little bit and let's reflect, as I said at the start of this, on the many achievements of the football club this season. Of course, firstly, there was the historic, the inaugural AFLW Premiership. What a way to start the year. <laughs> to me, it's even more special because South Australia probably, truth be known, was not going to get a licence. They said we didn't have the depth of talent here to put a team on the park. They said that we didn't have the corporate economy here to support the funding of the team. I won't go into all the detail, but some Work done by the management team led by Andrew, partnered with the Northern Territory, added a new market and added depth to that as squad. And uh, lo and behold, we made a profit, one of the few that did, and we won the damn thing. So that made it even more special. So what a way to kick off the season. <laughs> then came the achievement of becoming minor premier and accepting the McClellan Trophy, as we did in the first week of finals. Ladies and gentlemen, if I said to you at the start of the year, if we'd won the AFLW, if we'd finished minor premier, and then had beaten 16 other teams to earn the right to play in a grand final, would you have taken it? Now, I know the players wouldn't, and the coaches wouldn't, some of us wouldn't, but that's the sign of a good football club we achieved and I'm really, really proud of it and it should be called out in the wake of the last few days. There continues to be much more to uh, like about our off-field progress and I'll quickly go through this. Our record membership continues to grow and at last check we'd moved past 80,000. 80,000 people who we know about, who are engaged with our football club, who are engaged with us, that is a marvellous number. We have a full stadium that restricts growth in ticketed memberships, but we've launched a new look and innovative digital membership offering. And I've got to pause there and just thank all of our loyal fans and supporters, uh, many of whom I know are in the room tonight. Um, you support us in huge numbers at Adelaide Oval, Oval, but you show to the rest of the competition how well you travel and you support us at every venue across the country and none more evident than last week. Uh, the show of our colours, the voice at the MCG on Saturday was just quite invigorating and to the supporters in the room, to those that are watching, to uh, those that support us every week, thank you so much for, for coming along. 
Our sponsorship and corporate support is also at record levels, and I'd like to acknowledge and thank the partners who have recommitted just in recent weeks in anticipation of next season. And uh, while our corporate hospitality and coterie offerings are likely are highly sought after, and their popularity actually bucks the industry trend both here in South Australia and nationally. We have a leading Growing with Gratitude schools program, also recently passed a significant milestone this year because it's now engaged with over 100,000 students and plays an important role in helping to build and protect mental health and resilience in young children throughout the state of South Australia. Our media platform is growing rapidly and expanding its audience reach with what is the fastest growing social media platform in the AFL. We have delivered on our strategic pledge to be a club that leads the way with the integration and trialling of new technology, as was highlighted by the live streaming 360 degree video on match day and the rollout of artificial intelligence driven chatbot as Fags called it, Crowbot, and I'm not sure Neil Craig would like that, but both projects were firsts for the AFL industry. So through the hard work of many people, working to a very clear vision and with determination, make no mistake, your club is in good shape. I now want to finish up and I just want to praise publicly, recognise publicly three people, three groups of people. Firstly, to the coach, Don Pike, and to the entire coaching group and to their partners that endure the work that they do and the time that they invest doing their job. It is an exceptional team. And uh, Don, to you, we have trust in everything that you are doing. We have trust in the game plan, the strategy, trust in all of the resource that sits in underneath that football program. To you, to Brett Burton, all of the other coaches, I just wanted to publicly say that and I'm sure the audience will give a round of applause to acknowledge that as well. I'd like to call out the CEO, Andrew Fagan, an exceptional leader. Um, I'm having breakfast with him on Monday to do his annual review at which he reminded me, Jamo, that four clubs were seeking a new CEO, so I'm on the back foot already, probably cost us a little bit more money. But Andrew has led this club remarkably since he started here a little over two years ago. He has a very, a more than able management team that support him and we're very privileged as a football club to have them lead us. And the results, although they speak for themselves, they don't just happen. Someone has to drive it, lead it, inspire and motivate. And Andrew does that exceptionally well with his team. And I don't want to call out individuals or too many. But I'm going to throw Kylie Flett in there, who supports Andrew extremely well. So ladies and gentlemen, to Andrew and to the management team. And the last group I want to call out, starting with the individual, I want to call out the captain of our football team. I want to call out the leadership team that support him, the leadership group and to the entire playing squad. Um, I told Taylor a couple of months ago I wouldn't swap him for two captains. He asked me which two captains I would swap him for, but the point of the story was I wouldn't swap him for two. He's a great leader. Most of you get to see him for two hours on a Saturday. A lot of us get to see him, what goes on behind the scenes in the other 50 hours of the week. But I know that you would like me to... Uh, call his leadership out and that of his leadership uh, group and the playing squad. And ladies and gentlemen, let's show our appreciation for what they've done for us as a football club this year. Let's finish up there. Um, there is plenty of hard work to come, uh, plenty of hard work ahead, but I hope you can see that you're in good hands and that we are on the right track. Enjoy the night, enjoy the company, the people at your table, and uh, thank you for listening. Ta.